Which day was the 1st of January, 2014? Hmm. Can't remember? No problem. Normally we'd take out our phone, but phones aren't allowed in exams. So today I'll teach you a simple trick. After watching this video, if someone asks you the day of any date, you'll be able to find it quickly. And the best part, you don't have to remember any code, month code, or day code. Just remember this century base day chart and follow a few simple steps. Let's take first example. What day was on January 1st, 2010? Step one, take the last two digits of the year and subtract one from this. So 10 minus one is equal to nine, write down nine here. Step two, find how many leap years are in that number. Simply divide that number by four, integer division. That is nine divided by four is equal to two. Write two here. Step three, add the days of the months before the given month. Start from January and then add the date. In our example, it is first January. Days before January equals zero and date equals one. So we will write one here. Step four, add everything together and divide by seven. 9 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 12. Now divide 12 by 7, because a week has 7 days. 7 goes into 12 once with remainder 5. The remainder will tell you how many days to count forward from the century base day. In our case, the century base is 2000, and from the century base day chart, we need to consider Sunday. From Sunday, we will count 5 days forward. 1. Monday. Two. Tuesday, 3, Wednesday, 4, Thursday, 5, Friday. Here we go, the correct answer is option A. See how easily we are able to solve it? Let's try another one. Which day was 10th February, 1815? We will apply the same steps. First in this example, the last two digits of the year are 15. Now we will subtract one from this number. 15 minus 1 equals 14. Write 14 here. Then divide this number by 4 to get the number of leap years. 14 divided by 4 gives us 3 leap years. So write 3 here. Next, find the days of the months before February. If we start from January, how many days are there in January? There are 31 days. After that, the date is 10th in February. So we will add 10 to this. Therefore, 31 plus 10 equals 41. Lastly, add all values. 14 plus 3 plus 41 equals 58. Then divide this result by 7 like this. 58 divided by 7. 7 times 8 equals 56. We'll have remainder 2. In our example, the century base is 1800. Which day is the base day for this century in the chart? It is Wednesday. So from Wednesday, we will add two days forward. That means Thursday, and after that comes Friday. So the correct answer is option D, Friday. Is not amazing? Shall we check another question? Which day was the 13th of April, 1919? Start by focusing on the last two digits, which are 19. Subtract one from this. 19 minus 1 equals 18. Next, to find the number of leap years, we divide 18 by 4. 4 times 4 equals 16. So we take 4 here. Then find the total days from January. January, 31 days. February, 28 days, since 1919 is not a leap year. March, 31 days. And current date is 13th. That gives us a total of 103 days. Finally, put everything together and divide by 7. 18 plus 4 plus 103 equals 125. Divide 125 by 7. 7 times 17 equals 119. What is left in the remainder? It is 6. The century here is the 1900s. From our chart, the century base day is Monday. Now let's count six days forward. One, Tuesday. Two, Wednesday. Three, Thursday. Four, 
Friday, 5, Saturday, and 6, Sunday. And there we have it. The answer is Sunday, option C. That was nice and smooth. Let's try one more. Which day will be 4th June 2026? We'll solve this together. For the year 2026, the last two digits are 26. Subtract 1. 26 minus 1 equals 25. Next, find the number of leap years in this. 25 divided by 4, we get 6. Now calculate the total days from January up to June 4th. January 31 days. February 28 days. Since 2026 is not a leap year. March 31 days. April 30 days. May 31 days. Plus the date 4 is equal to 155 days. Lastly, add everything together. 25 plus 6 plus 155 equals 186. Divide 186 by 7. 7 times 26 equals 182, with a remainder of 4. For the 200th century, the base day is Sunday. Now let's count 4 days forward. We get Thursday. So the right answer is option B, Thursday. See how quickly we solve that, without even touching a phone. I hope you've understood everything, step by step. If you still have doubts, write your date in the comments, and I'll solve it for you. If you like the video, please like, comment, and share. Your one like and one comment motivates me a lot. I'll make more such tricks for you. Till then, keep learning, keep teaching, keep giving love. See you in the next video.